What's up my loves, welcome to today's video and if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. My name is Jennifer and I'm a bridal makeup artist based out of New York City and I bring you guys a lot of bridal makeup videos along with makeup product reviews, a lot of makeup tutorials and just makeup videos period. So stick around, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and for today's video, I am super excited because I'm going to be using the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Palette. I have the package right here, I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even have my hair done and it's so weird to me because I always like to look pretty with my hair down but I'm collaborating with a bridal hairstylist she's coming at 12 30 it is now 11 so we gotta get started and yeah I'm super excited because I know that you guys love my bridal makeup videos and since I'm not working right now I don't have any weddings to do I figured why not just do a bridal makeup on myself I really wanted to bring you guys a bridal makeup tutorial because I have a lot of bridal makeup videos and not a bridal tutorial so if you guys are excited to watch today's video and if you want to see how I go from this to this then keep on watching Okay, so the first thing that I do for my clients and what I would do for myself on the day of my wedding is prep my face for makeup. What that means is yesterday I did a mini facial on myself. I exfoliated my skin. I did like deep hydration on my skin as well with a mask. And this is all to have a smooth and deeply hydrated surface to work on. Think of your face as anything else. Let's say you have a wall and you have holes, right? That you want to cover. You don't simply paint over it. What you do is you plaster it, you sand it down, right? To smooth out the surface, you put primer and then you paint, right? So your face is kind of like the same thing. That analogy is kind of weird, but it's the same concept. You want to have a very smooth surface to work on. You want to try to get rid of any dead skin. And what I mean by that is when you touch your skin, if it feels rough or if you put on makeup and you see little flakes, coming off that just means that you have dead skin on your face and you need to exfoliate your skin i'm gonna link right here my skincare routine video so you guys could go check that out so you guys could have an idea of what i use to exfoliate to hydrate my skin etc now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna prime my face brows and then i'm gonna work on my eyes i'm gonna work on my face last because ideally bridal makeup i love working on the eyes first because I want the skin to look as fresh and as clean and pristine as possible. So anyway, let's get started. And what I'm going to be using for primer today is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have dry skin for the most part, but I do have an oily T-zone. So I'm going to be putting this just on the perimeter of my face for more hydration. I already put moisturizer on and everything. Okay, and I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. You guys know this is my everything. And I'm going to be using this on my T-zone. And this is amazing because it blurs out your pores completely. It mattifies the area and the makeup just lasts so much more. It's basically like a freaking filter, you guys. It's life. I love this primer so much. So while that primer does its job, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the brows because you don't wanna go in with your foundation and your, all of your products right on top of the primer because the primer needs its time to sink into the skin and do its job. So while that happens, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my brows and I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4.5. Don't take it personal, I ain't lying, I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying, I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning, I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Ooh. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. I 
I love using concealer to prep my eyes for eyeshadow because the eyeshadow just adheres to the eye so good and concealer has coverage to cover my dark circles, any little veins, any redness on my eyelids. It's also good for you guys that have oily eyelids. It's a great technique to use this concealer and then set it with a little bit of powder if you have oily eyelids. If not, you could leave it just as is. That's what I did. And then I make sure that there's no creasing. Let it kind of like self set. And then I go in with eyeshadow and the colors are just so pigmented right away. So I love that. So this is the fun part of the video. And I'm finally going to open the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Cremated Palette. As soon as I saw this palette, you guys, I thought, oh my God, this is so freaking bright. This is my first time ever trying Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadows. I've never tried his eyeshadows ever, but I've heard they're very good. So I'm excited to try them. And yeah, so it feels very sturdy. This material, I like it because if it gets dirty, it's very easy to clean. But yeah, I wanna customize this and maybe like bling it out or something just to make it look, I don't know, more bridal. I really don't like when people put their faces in front of palettes. I just think it looks tacky. Um. Okay, so open. Oh my God, yes. Guys, this is so freaking pretty. And the shadow sizes are freaking huge. Okay, so it brings this little thing to protect the shadows. And then here it is. Guys, so look how pretty it looks. Right off the bat, one thing that I noticed, the shimmers look absolutely freaking beautiful. So with my finger, I'm just gonna be showing you guys what the shimmers look like, the mattes. I think it's pointless to show with your finger because you're not going to be applying them with your finger. Okay, you guys, so I'm sorry about the audio in the prior part of the video. I didn't press record on the recorder. But anyway, so these are some of the shimmers. They look absolutely beautiful. Guys, and look how pretty. These are the shimmers on the top. Okay guys, so I absolutely love the shimmers. They feel so creamy and they swatched amazing, so I can't wait to try them. One thing that I do notice is that I don't see a shade that I wanna use as my transition, so I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my baby, the Tartlet and Bloom palette, just for the transition shade because I want a little like pink undertone there somewhere. And I'm using the JH35 from Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the outer edge right over here. And you wanna go little by little with each product. Okay guys, so now that I laid down the soft pinky tone under it as my transition shade, I'm gonna start dipping into these shades. And the shade that's calling my name, I would have to say is this shade right here called Eulogy. Okay, so there's cake back on the pen, a lot. So hopefully it's pigmented, let's see. And I'm using the JH31. Okay, so it's not the most pigmented shade ever, but it's blending in nicely. So I'm basically patting on the outer corner right here. And once I get the most pigmentation there, I'm bringing that gray shade upwards. So far, I'm not in love with that shade. I'm gonna go ahead and use Rebel from the Tartlet and Bloom palette, which is like a darker kind of pink, and go over what I just did. Okay, so I'm just dying to start dipping into the black because I'm not loving that gray or maybe it's just that I'm not used to like bridal makeup having gray in it. I mean, as far as the looks that I do. So I'm gonna start with the black. I'm gonna be using the M506 from Morphe and I'm going to be stamping that in the outer corner. The black is awesome, wow. Super creamy, super black, and super pigmented. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with the JH31 and I'm going to be dipping into Grave Digger. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with the Tartlet and Bloom palette into Rebel. And what I'm doing here is basically putting it where the black and the gray are, kind of like blending them and meshing them together. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be using Diamond Ashes, which is the beautiful white shimmer right over here. And let's see how it looks without spraying the brush. Okay, I'm not wowed by it. Maybe with my finger, let me see. You can't turn the tide. Okay, with the finger, it looks gorgeous. Wow, that looks so beautiful. But I want to try spraying the brush with Fix Plus and see if that works. With the brush, it's not giving me that beaming effect that I'm getting applying it with my finger. So I guess I'm gonna have to apply it with my finger. I'm gonna be honest, I thought this was going to be like more beaming than this when I swatched it, but it's pretty though. It's really pretty. I'm gonna try a little bit of death certificate and see if I could put it right here, like in the middle. That was super ashy. Um, Let's try pole bearer. Okay, so the shimmers don't seem to be working with a brush, so I'm just gonna do it with my fingers. Yeah, with my finger, they look beautiful. Let me be a part of something real. The thing is that with the finger, yes, it looks beautiful, but with the finger, you're not gonna get a clean application. I was trying to get like a clean application out of this, and I just can't right now because the shimmers are just not performing with a brush. Let me try another brush to be fair, but that is my favorite brush to use, and I use that brush for the lid all the time, so. So I'm gonna be trying the JH42, which is a little detail brush, and this brush usually picks up the shades like right away, super pretty. So I'm gonna be dipping into that white shade again, Diamond Ashes. Yeah, it's just not picking it up. Guys, I don't know if I got a bad palette or something. I don't know what's going on, but let me try to scrape it a little bit. I don't understand. All right, so um, moving on. Let me go in with Death Blow, which is this white over here. Okay, that picked up a lot. The mattes seem to be performing really good as far as like uh, pigmentation goes. So I put a little bit of that white in the inner corner to brighten that area further. And yeah, that's about it for the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and intensify the outer part a little bit more. So let me go back in with the black and intensify the outer corner. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be using my Ingla Gel Liner in the shade 77 and the MAC Brush 209. And I'm gonna be doing a winged liner. So hit me up, you know it's all You hit me up I've been waiting my whole life Oh, for you to hit me up I've never felt this Okay, so let's start covering up all this redness and these dark circles because I'm going crazy looking at myself right now. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna use the Morphe and Jeffrey collab beauty sponge and my favorite foundation, you guys know, the Cover FX Power Play in the shade N40. I wanna turn back time, save me some heartbreak. Oh, would you stay for me if I let you in? So secret. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. I'm gonna be using the shade Light Medium Sand to reverse contour, basically. I'm gonna be hiding my dark circles over here. You stay with me if I let you in. I just like the way you are, yeah. All the ways you... 
Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour with the Fenty Beauty shade Mocha. And I'm gonna be using the brush JH10, and I'm gonna be contouring my nose. Blow my mind, yeah. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who gets me, and someone who's cool, yeah. And I like the way you are, and now I want it all. Okay guys, and now I'm gonna be using the Kylie Cosmetics setting powder and I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. You wanna make sure that you bake your face a little bit. I'm not a big fan of baking, but you do need to set your face accordingly because you want your makeup to last as long as possible. And on your wedding day, you're gonna be dancing. You know, if it's summertime, you're gonna be outside taking pictures, most likely sweating. I would never get married in the summer. Oh my God, I would die. And my dream is to get married by the beach, but I would not get married in the summer. In my country, in Cuba, for example, if you go during like February or March, the beach is still beautiful, but the temperature is in like the 70s, so it's perfect. Okay guys, so the hairstylist is actually downstairs. My boyfriend's about to open the door for her. So I guess I'm gonna finish my makeup after she's done with the hair because we gotta get this moving and I don't wanna waste her time. I worked with her on a bride in the past and she did a great job, so I'm super excited. You know it's creeping up on me This frostbite gets deep into my bloodstream just trying to make the most of it Babe, I miss your body Some brighter days Cause I'm falling in the snow It's getting me deep You make some kind of fire within me It's almost like it's burning through my skin Make myself feel warmer when you're near Whenever you're near Come close So stay by my side Come on close I wanna be
all your love or oh, cause I want you No one else makes me feel this way Don't know what you do Hold my hand, could you hold my hand Look me in the eyes You and me, yeah that's all I need Okay, guys, so the hairstylist just left, and I love the way she did the waves. It was very pretty. But I went ahead and I removed the extensions from the top because it made the hair look really bulky over here. It kind of looked like I had a helmet on. That wasn't the vibe I was going for, so I just removed the extensions, and I flattened the top of my hair with this type of comb and i just threw in this headband for now but i have a headpiece that i'm gonna wear towards the end so yeah let's continue the makeup i basically set my face in the areas where i usually put concealer now um one problem area that i do have is my smile lines so i'm gonna go ahead and bake that area with setting powder because i laugh and smile a lot so for those of you that have that problem, what you wanna do is add a little bit of setting powder and avoid adding a lot of makeup to that area. So this is the best advice I could give you guys in regards to that. That's what works for me. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use bronzer to set the cream contour that I used. So the bronzer that I'm gonna be using is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Sun Kissed. And I'm going to be grabbing one of my favorite brushes to use. This is the MAC uh, 168 brush. It's an angled brush. Guys, and by the way, the robe, headbands, the headpiece that I'm about to show you, the earrings that I'm gonna put on, Everything I got on Amazon, super pretty. So I will be linking it down below for you guys if you guys like it. You look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You 
Looking. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and set my cream nose contour. So I'm going to be using the same bronzer and I'm going to be using the JH37. And I'm just going to be setting that contour. Out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay because you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. I, 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 I fell in love with your colors. They kind of tell me what I'm thinking. I fell in love with the way we are. And the way we lose it. There's something different about us. I'm gonna be putting setting powder right over here because I'm gonna work on the bottom of my eyes right now that way I could finish my eyes the first thing is white eyeliner on the waterline the reason why I love doing this it's because my eyes are very tiny so when I put a white eyeliner on the waterline my eyes automatically look bigger so I'm gonna go ahead and do that before I add any eyeshadow yeah it's just the way we do it Anything just to block out the Okay, and now I'm gonna be grabbing the JH38 and Charlotte and Bloom palette. And I'm using Sweetheart, which is the light pinky shade. And I'm gonna be putting that as the first transition shade on the bottom. Then I'm going to be using Grave Digger on the same brush. I'm gonna grab the JH43 and I'm gonna dip into hers, the black shade in the palette. And I'm going to be stamping that black literally right at the lash line. Okay, and now we're gonna go back in with the JH38. With the shade Grave Digger, we're gonna go ahead and blend that black out a little bit. How many smiles? does it take to be happy okay so now i'm gonna go and add mascara i'm actually using a non-waterproof mascara just because i love this mascara but obviously for my wedding i will use waterproof because i'm a cry baby and i know that i would cry but um i'm not gonna marry today so i'm just using this one i got an idea before we get married you can't wear makeup for like three months holy crap it makes sense Okay, so you can't get a haircut for three months. All right. And you're gonna see each other. Deal. Gonna <laughs> and we see, see each other like shit, and then we'll change our minds about marrying each other. Be like ugly as hell. <laughs> for lips, I'm gonna be grabbing this NYX lip liner. This is what's the name of this? Sandstorm. NYX Sandstorm. How to go when you're fed up with mistakes? Maybe I just found the answers. Maybe I just found the answers in you. Okay, guys, and now I'm gonna be using Bare Liquid Lipstick. You guys know this is one of my favorite, favorite liquid lipsticks. I don't know if to use Bare Minerals Groovy or So Cute. This one's a little more pinky, so I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, Bare Minerals Groovy Lip Gloss. I'm okay if I got you, we don't have to... Let's add some blush, and I'm gonna be using one of my favorite blushes that I haven't used in so long, the NARS Orgasm, and I love it because this is such a pretty blush. It's like a pinky, corally, and then it has like a glow to it. It's like a gold kind of sheen to it. So I'm gonna be using the JH04. The only bad thing about this blush, I'm gonna be honest, is that it fades so fast that you have to like keep reapplying it but it just looks so pretty that it's so worth it. All right, I'm gonna wipe away the setting powder. And this is why I don't really like baking because then my face just looks so freaking dry. But I'm gonna put a bunch of up setting spray right now. 
We can do what we want to Just give a little bit of your heart Give a little bit of your heart to me So I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite bridal lashes of all time. These are the Lily Lashes in the style Doha. As soon as I take them out of the package, I like to kind of bend the band a little bit. That way it's not so stiff. And for the lash glue, I'm gonna be using the House of Lashes adhesive. This is waterproof, it's black, and also it is latex free. So this is definitely a must have because some people are allergic to latex. So let's allow that glue to dry and I'm gonna be applying it to the other lashes well and I'll be right back. I absolutely love this powder by Jaclyn Cosmetics. It's called Doomy and it's a luminous powder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of that powder right here on my forehead. Right here in this part of my cheeks. And on my chin. And now I'm gonna be grabbing my favorite highlighting brush. This is the MAC 133, I believe. Yeah, 133. And I'm going to be using the Amrezy Highlight. point on my cheekbones now I'm gonna use the JH 42 and the same Amrezy highlight and I'm gonna go ahead and put that highlight in the center of the bridge of my nose right here and let's put these lashes on before this glue fully dries See, when you let the glue get a little bit tacky, the lash goes on right away. Okay, and now let's apply a little bit of brow gel. Okay guys, so now for the fun part, I'm gonna start adding the headpiece. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my little headband off, even though the headband is super cute, but... I'm super excited to finally put my headpiece. On my wedding day, I would either wear a headpiece or I would wear a crown. Looks pretty, babe. He's excited over there. Look, you're not even supposed to be seeing this. You look like one of those um, Persian princess. Like Persian. a Persian princess? A Persian queen. Okay, guys, so that is the headpiece. I freaking love it. It's super pretty. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the earrings. Look at the earrings. I got them also on Amazon. And I'm not gonna wear a necklace because the earrings are a lot. So let's keep it classy. To pick you up and drive to a place we could talk for hours mm -hmm. Sometimes we'd run out of words to say But we didn't mind Cause we could lay on the ground Okay, my love, so that is it for this bridal look. What do you guys think? I hope that you guys learned a lot. I hope that you guys liked it. I actually started off not liking it and a little frustrated. I'm not gonna lie with the palette but I ended up really loving how it turned out using the Jeffree Star palette along with the Tartlet and Bloom palette. I made it work. You know, sometimes you use a product for the first time and you don't really enjoy it for what you had envisioned it for. Like when I saw this palette, I was like, that looks like a bridal palette. But I think that the fact that it has like so many great tones kind of defeats that bridal look to it. I feel like if this would have had literally like a couple of earthy browns and a couple of like soft rosy pinks, oh my God, this literally would have been perfect. So as far as like my look today and the shades that I used, the shimmers, although in the swatches, they swatched beautiful, I had a really rough time using brushes to apply the shimmers. I don't really like using my fingers to apply eyeshadow. Most of the time I have really long nails, so that's not useful for me. 
but as far as the black it worked beautiful but i don't want to give like a full review on the palette yet i want to keep using it do different looks with it i don't want to tell you guys if it's worth it or not right now because i just literally use like three tones so it wouldn't be fair to the palette and it wouldn't be fair for me either because maybe i use other tones and i end up loving it but i wanted to do my first look doing a bridal look because that is what I envisioned when I saw the palette for the first time for some reason. So comment down below what you thought of this look. If you guys liked it, if you liked the hair, the headpiece, let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed today's video. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a long, long video because it was actually a bridal makeup tutorial. I tried to explain myself as much as I possibly could. I want you guys to understand there was construction going on today the whole morning. So it was kind of rough to talk through it all. So if I didn't explain certain things or if I didn't mention certain things, I will put it on the screen. Um, but just know it was because there was a lot of noise. So um, it's also very hot in here. It's like 90 degrees outside and I have the AC off. So it's very tough, you guys, but you know, we're pulling through because I wanted to bring content for you guys. And this was, I feel like coming back with a bang because I was dying to do a bridal look. And since I am not working and I'm not doing weddings, I was like, you know what? I'll just do it on myself. And I didn't want to do it half ass, you know? I went ahead and I bought the headpiece, the earrings, the robe. I collabed with a hairstylist. I want to bring you guys always the best content I possibly can. So I hope that you guys appreciate that. Give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. It will help me a lot. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.